Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue our work from our previous lesson where we're talking about taking um, 100 and turning it into 9 10s and 10 ones. And we're going to talk about how we can take 200s and turn them, or a 200 and turn them into 100, 9 10s, and 10 ones. So our learning goal for today says I can subtract from 200 when there are zeros in the tens and or ones place. The materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board and your place value chart. So make sure you have those materials before we get started. All right, friends. So here we have our first problem. I have modeled it on our place value chart for us already. So you can see that we have 106 minus 58 and I have modeled 106 on our place value chart. Again, remember we're not modeling 58 on our place value chart also because we're subtracting that. If we were adding, then we would model both numbers on our place value chart, but subtracting only models the largest number. So again, remember just like our previous lesson, we are taking this 100 and we are going to turn it into nine tens and 10 ones. And we're doing that because if we look in our ones place and we try and subtract, we have six minus eight and we can't do that. So then normally we would go to our tens to decompose or unbundle. We have no tens, so we have to go all the way to the hundreds place for this problem. So we can do this, all of this unbundling at one time instead of having to do it step by step. So we're gonna take this hundred, we're going to unbundle it into 10 tens but then we know we need one of those tens to make 10 ones. So now that 100 has turned into nine tens and 10 ones because nine tens is 90 and 10 ones is 10. So 90 plus 10 equals that 100 that we just unbundled. So now we're able to subtract. So now let's model what we did in our vertical form. So now I have no hundreds left. I have nine tens and now I have 16 ones. And again, remember I have 16 ones because I had 10 that I just unbundled and then I had six ones already. So 10 plus six equals 16. Well, now if I have 16 ones, I have plenty of ones to subtract eight, so let's do that. So once I subtract those eight, now I'm left with eight. Then I can move into my tens place, nine minus five equals four. And then there's nothing to subtract in the hundreds. So 106 minus 58, equals 48. All right, so now is where you guys are gonna get your chance to do some work. So grab your dry erase board or your paper and pencil and write down 200 minus 67. You guys are gonna pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay. So again, remember, we can show 200 as 100, 9 tens, and 10 ones to make it easier to subtract. So I'm going to cross that out, and I'm going to show my 10 tens. Oh, but wait, one of those tens turns into 10 ones. So now I have 100, 9 tens, and 10 ones. Let's model that in the vertical form. So there's my 100 left, my 9 tens, and my 10 ones. Now that 10 is 10 ones because there was a zero there. So remember, we're just adding 10 ones to how many ones are already there. So now I could do 10 minus seven, which is three, move to my tens place, nine minus six, which is three, and the hundreds place one minus nothing is one. So 200 minus 67 equals 133. All right, so hopefully you guys got that one. Let's do another one. So here we have 200 minus 33. So go ahead and write that down real quick. And we're going to solve that problem. You guys are gonna pause the video, solve 200 minus 33, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So again, remember, we can take that 200 and show it as 100 nine tens and 10 ones to make it easier to subtract. So I'm gonna do just that. So this 100 turns into 10 tens, but let's take one of those tens and turn it in to 10 ones. So now we're left with 100, 
nine tens and ten ones. And now we can definitely subtract. Start in your ones place, 10 minus three equals seven. And then we're gonna to go to our tens place, nine minus three equals six. And then our hundreds place, there's nothing to subtract. So one minus zero equals one. So 200 minus 33 equals 167. Okay, so friends, here's the same thing, okay? I just took away all of our unbundling at the top because I wanna show you a trick. So check out this other strategy you can use, okay? So if I have 200, I know that I, I can't subtract 33 from that, right? Because I have the zeros and the ones in the tens place. So another strategy you can use is um, subtracting one from the large number. So if I have 200 minus one, that leaves me with 199. So if I have 199, I can move this 33 right over and subtract and I have no unbundling or decomposing to do, none. So that makes it much easier for me to subtract in this problem. But there's something you have to remember to do at the end. Okay, so let's solve this problem here. 199 minus 33. So nine minus three equals six. Nine minus three again equals six and one minus zero equals one. So remember, we subtracted one in that first part of the, the first step of this strategy. Well, when I subtracted one, my problem was one less. So because I took away one, I have to add that one back in. So I would have 166 plus one, which is 167. And notice, just like last time, here's 167, and here's this one for when I solved it the other way before. So friends, cool strategy you can use. Subtract one when you're having a number that's even, that has two zeros, like 100, 200, 300, 400. Okay, subtract one from that large number and then just make sure that you add that one back in at the end because if you don't, you're gonna be left with 166, which is off by one. So just make sure if you use this strategy, subtract one at the beginning and add one at the end, and you'll be able to rock it, okay? So just another strategy, not one you have to use, just another option. All right, friends, so nice work. You guys did a great job subtracting from 200 from numbers with zeros in the ones and or, or in the tens and or the ones place. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>